All right, guys, Jim and I working on some videos today, and I hope you're enjoying every single one of them. Uh, in this video, I want to, <laughs> for those of you who know me, uh, I, I've always been a, a big Hulk Hogan fan, and I, I grew up with Hulk Hogan and respected him and respected all the belts he won and watched all his matches, and I, I was a Hulk maniac, and, you know, he's run into recent trouble uh, lately, and I'm not such a big Hulk maniac, but... I was a big fan. I think everyone was a Hulkamaniac back in the day. Um, Hulk Hogan in 1996, though, August 10th, 1996, did one of the most disgusting acts I had ever seen in professional wrestling. Uh, Hogan that night at uh, Hog Wild was wrestling the Giant in the main event of a WCW pay per view. Hogan wins the world title and does uh, NWA. NWO guys come in the ring and they uh you know they trash a giant booty man and then at the end of the match you know hogan and nash and hall decide that it would be a good idea to spray paint the world heavyweight title the replica this is a replica belt uh, i mean but you guys know what the big uh gold belt looks like and they spray painted the 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 world title i just to me, that was one of the most disgusting, vile uh, acts I had ever seen in wrestling to, uh, just, what is the word, disparage? Just uh, vandalize the, the world title that, you know, had lineage going back, what, 100 years to Frank Gotch and George Hackenschmidt. Um, obviously, that was a smaller version of the title back in the day. The early wrestlers had little teeny tiny belts. And the big gold belt was brought in like 85 by Flair. Uh, but still, man, I don't know what it was, but that one bothered me. Because uh, me, being a purist wrestling fan, I have so much respect for that big gold belt. And to see him spray paint that still, even all these years later, whatever it is, 19 years later, is still the sight of watching the Monday Night War DVD when Nash was holding the belt up and uh, Hogan spray painting it still makes me sick to my stomach and I, I can see the comments now oh Jim that was to get heat oh Jim that was to get heat if you're a wrestling purist and you take this stuff serious it was disgusting it was it was a vile act they might as well just cut that belt in half uh, smashed it up um, and pissed all over it because it was a I mean that's just that's just a don't do uh, type thing that's like just disgusting and it's a lot like Shawn Michaels humping the Canadian flag at Survivor Series to get heat I understand the the tricks they do to piss the crowd off but and obviously they spray painted the bell to piss the crowd off but you have to think a little deeper than that uh, Dusty Rhodes was sitting there on commentary and uh, he says that's the belt I wore and uh, he couldn't believe it and Bobby Heenan who's been in the industry at that point for like, what, 30, 40 years, seen every wrestler come and go, uh, managed world's champions, and uh, you know Heenan was uh, sick to his stomach. Even Shivani, you know, at that point had been announced for, what, 13, 14 years for WCW and WWF in 89. I mean, he had to be, as much as people don't like Tony Shivani, he had to be sick to his stomach over it. It was bad. They shouldn't have done that with the world title to get heat or not get heat. You have to respect your world title. Spray painting it, vandalizing it. I don't know. And oh, it was just to get heat. I know it was to get heat. I know their tricks, but still, no way they should have done that. I'm Gemini. Thank you.